fantastic and my friend we have a special uh, series coming now uh, to this channel for the next five episodes I'm actually going to be creating some full art lessons to celebrate the opening of my newest membership called my newest website called Artastic Kids. It is my online streaming art lesson platform where I provide the opportunity for families, for kids, for classrooms to create art anytime, anywhere with some easy to find, easy to use, stress-free art mediums and I'm gonna show you how to use them in so many ways. There are tons of art lessons already uploaded in the art resource library. It's kind of like Disney Plus or Netflix where you just log in, click a video and hit play. You can pause anytime you want, rewind, fast forward, whatever you like. I will teach you a whole bunch of different art lessons in different themes such as underwater, things that go, fantasy, uh, animals, insects and reptiles, plants and landscapes, and so much more, making it super engaging for anybody. I, it offers art lessons for a range of abilities, so no matter um, if you're a beginner artist or if you feel like you're in the middle or more advanced, I got art lessons at a range of for a range of abilities and experiences, and you can pick a just right art lesson that is perfect for you in a range of different topics and a range of different styles. So check it out, it's called Artastic Kids. The link will be in the description of this video, so make sure you check it out at the end of this video. And don't forget to subscribe and comment below. I would like to know if you've checked out Artastic Kids or if you tried to make any of these art lessons that I'm gonna show you through this series. Over the next five weeks, I'm gonna be releasing a full art lesson once per week that you can check out and create with me using a range of different art making mediums, perfect for creating art in the classroom or at home. So for this art lesson, we're going to be using some liquid tempera paint and some a choice art medium. So I've just used felt markers, but you can use whatever art making medium that makes you happy. So grab some liquid tempera paint and some felt markers or your choice of art making medium and let's make some art. Started on this super fun emoji artwork. So we're gonna need a few different colors of paint. You can pick whatever colors you want for this part of the project. So grab colors you like, and we're just gonna grab some liquid tempera paint, just some liquid tempera paint, and we're gonna make some lines. So we need to make three lines, and then we're gonna pull that paint across our paper to make our background. So I'm just using some plain white paper. This is cardstock. It's just a little bit thicker than normal paper, but use what you have, my lovely friend. All right, so I'm gonna take my first color. I'm just gonna put a small line, I'm barely squeezing the two. We don't want a whole bunch of paint to come out. That would be way too much. Okay, and I'm gonna shaky shake and we're gonna get our next color. Here we go. Wipe away these little crusties and barely squeeze to make our second color. Okay, now we got a third color coming. And again, we're gonna barely squeeze and pull that up. There we go, so we got three lines of paint. Now we're gonna grab some scrap paper and we're going to fold it in half to make it stronger. Now, if you have cardboard, you can just use a strip of cardboard. That will work totally fine. We're going to be putting this into the recycling or compost after, whatever you have. So. It's not precious. And we're just gonna start on one side and we're gonna pull across to the other side, okay? So I have my hands ready, I'm holding it, and I'm just gonna take my hand and go right across. One. I'm not gonna worry about color mixing. Okay, here we go. Two. Whoa. And third time, here we go. I'm gonna move my hands, move the hold up here on the edges and pull number three and we got a super cool sort of tie-dye background. All right, we're gonna take our background paper and we're just gonna now set it to the side to dry and we're gonna go put this somewhere in a compost. All right, so while that dries, we are going to work on the next part of this project. So we're just simply going to grab a new piece of paper and we're gonna work on our emojis. 
And for our emojis, well, I'm gonna use felt markers, but you can grab whatever kind of art making mediums you want to use to make your super cute emojis. Now we're gonna have our paper going the same orientation as our background, so portrait, which is up and vertical. So we're gonna use our portrait to draw on. And I'm just gonna grab my markers. So I'm gonna use felt markers to color with and to draw with, but again, you can use whatever you want, whether it's oil pastel, wax crayons, colored pencils, you do you, my lovely friend. All right, got my cool colors out here. There we go, and here we go. So we're gonna design three different emojis and we're gonna give them a scrapbook kind of feel. So we're gonna start off by drawing three circles on our paper. So one, two, three. Three circles on our paper. Now we're gonna take our marker and we're gonna go around the edges and we're gonna add some dashed lines to make a nice border to give it that sort of scrapbook feel or a sticker feel. Perfect. And once you're done, we're gonna design your favorite emoji faces in our artwork. Okay, so you can go ahead and draw whatever kind of emojis you want in the center of each of your circles. I think my favorite ones are, I love an excited emoji. That one's great. And I love the one with the little, the laughing so hard one where it's crying because it's so happy. I love that emoji too. So make sure you definitely draw some of your favorite emojis that you love to use on your art. Gotta make it something that excites you. And of course, always add your own artist flavor anytime to your artworks. Once you're done drawing your three emojis, you can color them in your choice of emoji colors.
All right, so to finish up our emojis, I'm just gonna take a blue. I'm gonna first of all color in these tears. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white on the tears so they look shiny. Now we're gonna add a nice fun glow and some contrast here. We're gonna go around that dashed line. And we're just gonna add a bit of blue, just a bit of blue. Or if you can't find your blue, use purple. We're just gonna add a nice little blue glow to our emojis and you can either do it along the dash line or along the emoji line. I've done it both ways for you so you can pick the style you like best. Just like that. And once you're done, we're gonna be good artists. We gotta put away our art making mediums first. We're gonna tidy up our tables. We're gonna put away our felt markers nice and neatly so they are ready to go next time. We're gonna grab our scissors And we're gonna cut out our lovely emojis. Now we're gonna leave a little white border around each of them just so we can add a bit of contrast on the background when we go to glue them down on that cool tie-dye painted texture. And of course we're gonna have some extra paper here so make sure that we keep this extra paper and we're gonna use it for, you can use it for your own art making experimentations in your own artworks later. Maybe you wanna try doing that painted texture again, but maybe you wanna design your own elements in the extra spaces that you add to it. So you can reuse the paper and use all of it. Or if it's too small to use, you can put it in a recycling bin. Often I like to save these pieces of paper and cut them up into some smaller chunks, just like this. And I put that in an envelope and I put it in my sketchbook or art making supply table for later. All right, and once you're done, you have three emojis ready to go. And once your background paper is dry, we're going to glue it together. And once your background is dry, we're gonna grab our emojis and turn them over. Grab a glue stick. And we're gonna glue the border, then the inside. So border, then the inside. We're gonna glue the emoji number one a choice spot on the paper, two flat hands to press and hold. Okay, grab your next emoji, glue the border, then the inside, move it around your page until you find a spot you like, two flat hands to press and hold, and lift. Final emoji, find a spot. Two flat hands to press and hold. And just like that, your lovely emoji artwork that explores painting processes and also has some cute emojis is done. Well, my friend, I hope you enjoyed making this art lesson with me. Remember, the Artastic Kids membership is open. It's great has happened so make sure you check it out again it's my online streaming art lesson platform where I'm going to provide you with a huge art resource library of art lessons to choose from with five new art lessons being added every single month so that way you can expand your creative thinking you can expand your critical thinking skills you can develop new art making techniques and skills and then become a a growing artist at home, okay? So you can stream art lessons anytime, anywhere, from the comfort of your home. You can do it with your family to spend more quality time with them. Or if you want, if you're a teacher, you can stream art lessons directly in your classroom with Artastic Kids. It is um, an online streaming service. Again, you can click a video, hit play, and you can stream art lessons. Again, New five new art lessons are added every single month to the platform. Uh, so it's an ever-growing art resource lesson library, um, fully loaded with a ton of art lessons and five new ones are added every single month. And for more information, make sure you check out the link below the video right now, Artastic Kids. Now let's check out more information on Artastic Kids. Artastic Kids, where kids get to create some fabulous art projects all from the comfort of their home or any place at any time. 
and using just a few common art making mediums. So my platform is easy to use. You simply log on, grab an art project, click it, and boom! I'm gonna walk you through the entire thing in a fun, engaging way. So let's check out some of the art projects that we're going to do on our Tastic Kids. Thank you. 